Did I just break out of the matrix and become the change that I wish to see in the world? <gasps> no way. You guys, you totally should too. It's the only way to live. I'm telling you, I'm living proof. It's the best, like for reals. Y'all see this little video playing down here? If you haven't checked out my other seven channels, go check them out like comment and subscribe if you resonate with this vid because i'm telling you you will find a gold nugget in each one spirit else here for you 100. hi taurus gemini how you doing look spirit else always gonna keep it real with you okay your person what i'm getting is the community that you're in your person knows that they look bad to their community or that people in your community know how this person has treated you right and so they plan on being manipulative in, in giving you an apology of some kind so beware of that Taurus Gemini they may not be sincere you got five of swords and page of cups so just be careful I mean accept the apology of course be the bigger person but at the same time be aware that they may not be sincere okay um your person is going through cycles and they are very much trying to manifest healing which is good that's not a bad thing okay but they are going through these cycles and they you know anyone who wants to manipulate an apology is very much in their ego right so we don't deal with that now i do want to tell you if you came to this reading with a question about whether your person is the chaser or whether you were going to have a fresh start the answer is no and you know what that doesn't mean anything bad taurus gemini let me tell you the chaser is the grown-up yeah the chaser is the mature one. The chaser understands and knows exactly where they are at in their level of enlightenment and maturity. And they know that they're ready and prepared for the best that life has to give them. The runner is not. The runner is running. <laughs> Hence, they're scared. So they're running away from the freedom that you so lovely hold out for them on a plate to take a bite of, right? So you need to know that, so you need to know that your person is very combative, okay, and breadcrumbing you. I mean, they feel entitled. They feel like they're entitled to breadcrumb you because they are them and you are you. And, sweetheart, that is just not okay. Mm-mm. On any level. Mm-mm. Especially if you're the chaser. Mm-mm. No ma'am, no ham, no can. No sir. We ain't playing that game. We over here in the 5D. Okay? We ain't playing no hunts. We waiting on the rest of the world to catch up. You feel me? Don't ever lower yourself to someone else's level to make them feel better. Oh no, honey. Wear your crown high. Do not take it off. Simply lead. And it's just that simple. What I want you to do, well, what Great Divine Spirit wants you to do too, is to release and surrender. And I know, Taurus Gemini, that's so much harder said than done. It is not an easy task. But if you can look at it from the standpoint, and, and Spirit Owl's talking to you from the other side now, I want you to understand. I promise you, if whoever is in your life is not willing to step up to the plate and be the person that they are supposed to be, and they know that you know that they know that you know, you understand what I'm saying? You can trust me. Trust me and believe. You can take this check to the bank and cash it because the money's good. The universe will bring someone else even better. 
then that person, that even though you thought that person was the best of the best, the cream of the crop, you thought no one could get any better than that person, best believe, watch. Watch Abba show up and surprise you. Drop a diamond in your lap like it ain't nothing. I am so serious. I am living proof. It has happened to me gazillion times in my life. You can read it all in my biography. But I'm telling you right now, if whatever ain't happening and you want it to happen so bad, if it ain't happened, trust and believe. It's because Abba's got something better. Abba's got something better. And it's just that simple. It's just that simple. So the sooner that you're able to release and surrender to the great divine, to creator, right? The sooner you can have what's planned to come to you. And that goes back to that mindset of, oh, I'm going to have so much fun. You might want to go watch the Aries Taurus vid. I was talking about, um, I got, I think Empath Tarot talks about it too. You should watch her. She's amazing. Um, Alicia is her name, I think. But she talks about having so much fun where you're at that when Abba does drop the diamond in your lap, you're like, oh! I'm not sure I'm, I want this diamond because I'm having so much fun without it type thing. And that's why it comes, it, it really doesn't come to you any faster. It just seems like it does because you're having such a good time in life and enjoying exactly where you're at. And like her husband says in 7D Tarot, he says, you know, if you're constantly looking forward in the future versus and constantly looking in the back and you're not in the present now and enjoying the now. I just love the way they word it because it's really practical. Um, then, you know, you're ahead of yourself or you're behind yourself. You're not in the now. And so that's a good logical way to look at it, right? And it's easy to understand. And so I love their, their standpoint from that. I think it's really awesome. So y'all go check them out if you haven't. Um, but... I'm going to put a picture of this down below. This is self-appreciation. And so, Creator, your higher power, Abba, Great Divine Spirit, wants you to understand that you are enough, baby. <laughs> you the boat. You the boat. Don't get it twisted. You are the boat. Okay? And if, if no one has ever sat you down and just said, hey, I just want to celebrate you. Can we just sit down for a hot minute and celebrate your hotness, your amazingness, your beauty, your magnificence, your power, the beautiful energy that you emit? Can we just give that some appreciation, golf clap like a mug for like hours, right? If no one's ever done that, creator wants you to do that for you. And listen, I'm looking at you from the other side. I can't tell you how many times Spirit has had to do this. Spirit, I will do this. Spirit, I has been doing this for the last two days. If you want to be real with it. I don't speak to anyone in my family, darling. No one. So, my strength comes from within. You understand? I don't draw strength from mankind. I draw strength from my higher power, which is Abba. Yeshua and Ruach Hakodesh. Okay, and I can't tell you how many times creators had to sit me down and be like, "Uh, uh, we ain't playing their game." If anyone's tried to make me feel any less than, oh no, Abba don't have that. Abba does not play that card. He has me sit down and make sure I fill my cup up to overflowing before I even step out again. And so that's really what Great Divine Spirit wants you to do. And you know what? It's the best place to be, baby. Can't nobody celebrate you like you do. They like, can do it quite like I do. <laughs> okay. Because you really are that bad assy. <laughs> like you're amazing. And it's time, high time, that you realize it. Oh, and please don't forget, don't hate, always meditate.